takes the Jewish people into the desert. For three days they prepare. And then this amazing, amazing noise comes, maybe just like that one, right? And the mountains shake, and the voice of the Lord is revealed unto the children of Israel, and the Torah is given to us in the desert. Lech Tech HaKarayv on the bar, God says, in those days you followed after me in the wilderness. My last trip to Israel, I came as a tourist. I, I didn't mean to come as a tourist. I didn't think there was any other way to come. But this time, I didn't come as a tourist. I came as a Jew. And I have to say, Yitzhak, thanks to you and the way you create the tour and, and, and not only sort of structure the curriculum, but also really paint the picture in each of these settings. I could place myself and my ancestors in those places, and it made all the difference. But we can stand on the street that our ancestors walked on, and perhaps the soles of our feet feel our own souls being touched by the by the history that, uh, that we're treading upon. It's just more than just a guided tour. It actually connects you with your Jewish heritage. It's where I choose to put my roots of everything I do in this land and in this people and in this in this state, in this city, and it'll be hard going back. Uh, what was it like going through the tunnel? It was better than all the water rides at Universal Studios. <laughs> we had an enjoyable family experience getting through. And they did, made extraordinary efforts to bring a multi-generational tour from grandparents to a two-year-old to Israel and to see the people who live here, to experience the life in the land and not just the landscape. So, so a generation would come, a generation would go, but this, for thousands of years, what they held on to was expecting to come back to Jerusalem. And they're not home with their moms and dads. And, and they're here making it possible for us to stay in a hotel in Israel and to have a nice meal. And there really is. I mean, there really are rockets and guns pointed at them from 100 yards away. It's really very holy work that they do. It was exciting, it was interesting, it was very spiritual. And I think the combination of what Joy said about the education, the storytelling that we heard, and the physical contact with the land, the hiking, the swimming, the people, I think made it an extraordinary trip. One thing that I thought Kesha did extremely well was to understand that children and adults are different, which made for our family the trip work extremely well because the kids were happy doing uh, things that made sense to them, we were happy doing things that made sense to us, and there was plenty of time for us to be together and do things that made sense to the entire family. <laughs>
I think Catch It not only, not only took us on a tour to show us the things, but they had a passion for it. Rajar is a village without a country because it's a Syrian village, but Syria is now about 15 miles that way. And in between, here's Israel. Whoopsie. Whoopsie, right? So, what do you do? I hate it when that happens. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> spent the last week, two weeks, three weeks, depending on our families, running away from Yerushalayim. Put ourselves into that mindset. All right, look around. We're here with, our, with those members of our families who survived the war against the Romans. We're staying at the bottom of Masada together, and Yitzhak just described, I believe, sort of, you know, the last two weeks of our life as if we were Jews you know, 2,005 years ago. And we knew there was one place left on earth, right, where there is still a Jewish garrison. And here we've reached it. How can you really connect to sort of your, your origins in this land? And what I found incredible about the Keshet experience, amongst other things, was in a very rationalist, clear way, which happens to affect your emotions, but with no hoopla, easily able to connect each and every spot in Israel to why we're there. This trip was very meaningful It opened the door, and this time it was wide open. And it, it, it opened the door Jewishly, Zionistically. I learned so much. I, it's changed my life. And I hope that as we travel the roads of Eretz Yisrael, that you also get a feeling of that sense of what it means to feel at home. Because we're not here as tourists, and we're not exactly here as pilgrims. You know, we're here as participants in the most exciting, dramatic, and important experience that Jewish people have known, at least in the last 2,000 years. Thank you.